Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Mind of Reese. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, let's see what's going on in my world. Right now we have Inspired Academy, now open for pre-enrollment. So exciting. If you're listening to this in real time or before August 26th, and you want to join, you want to join the vortex on how to grow your business, utilizing Instagram, creating the foundational and balanced holistic business while still calling in your soulmate clients and soulmate community on in the online world. This is for you. You're definitely not going to want to miss it. This is the last time I'm going to be opening it up this year, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next year. So it's a 10 week course. We're creating foundations from the mindset to the clarity, to creating the actual content, to taking the photos of your tattoos and things like that, and then to automating it so that you can get back more of your time. And so if that's something that you might be interested in, if you've heard me talking about it on Instagram, please, please, please do not hesitate to DM me. I love connecting with you. I love connecting with all of you out there. If you have any questions about your business and things like that, please don't hesitate. Um, I'm also having a decidedly, literally like yesterday, that I'm going to have a free masterclass. So if you've never been in the vortex of the art of Reese, of my business, of how I coach, this one is for free and it's about content magnetism, how to create magnetic content. Um, And so we're basically going to be talking a lot about stepping into your magnetism, how we do that through content, how do we create the content that does that. So I can't wait because it fucking lights me up. That will be happening on August 16th or 17th. I'm pretty sure the, I'll be talking about it, um, on Instagram. So make sure that you're there. And also if you have any questions about it, let me know, but let's talk about this episode. So this episode is basically about is, does living in a small town limit the success in your tattoo business? Now I get this question a lot. And so I wanted to touch on what what this means if living in a small town does that really limit your business and things like that how that you know and what we can shift in our energetics and in our thoughts in order to really you know step into a mindset that's more expansive that's much more opening and exciting and one that allows us to create the possibilities and the opportunities to you know live life outside of small town mindset, really. And so, yeah, I hope you love this episode. Guys, welcome back to another episode of The Mind of Reese. I am so happy that you are here. Oh my gosh, what is happening in my world right now? Well, right now we are in the middle of Inkspired Academy being reopened. And if you're listening to this in real time, you're definitely going to be getting all the good stuff Um, this round is the last round of the year and I'm also just really excited about it coming back on. It, uh, it's actually starts in September. So if you're listening to this in August, you still have time. And if you want to DM me and just, you know, talk about it, see if it's for you, please do DM me on Instagram. I have no problem. I am so about having connection and speaking with you. I want to know you. I want to know why you're here. I want to know what you're doing in your business. Like this is the shit that lights me up. And so, yes, if that's something that you're looking into, if that's something you want to do, feel into it, feeling the call, you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. Um, Another thing is, is that I still have one VIP spot left. I'm still kind of like so excited about this and I know that the right person's about to come. So I'm just going to leave this spot open for anybody that's feeling the vibe. That feeling is like, Mm, Yes, I'm ready for that more hands-on mentorship that, you know, stepping into my next level leader, stepping into my next level income, wealth, community, and freedom within my tattoo business. Yes, full send. You can DM me again for all the good juicy stuff. But if you want to go and look at, you know, some of the information about Inspired Academy or the VIP, I will be leaving the website links down below. But today, let's get into the podcast. So today, I really want to talk about... Uh, being in a small town, I, I get this a lot. I get this a ton. You know, I have people wanting to be in the vortex of Inspired Academy and oftentimes, you know, or or in the vortex of Inspired Academy. And then there is this belief within them that because they live in a small town, um, you know, they they're unable to get the 
soulmate clients that they really want in order to do the tattoos that they really want to do that really lights them up. So they they feel that they need to do all the styles because they live in a small town. And oh, my whole heart hurts when I hear this. My whole being, like I'm getting full body chills just from the sadness that it brings me that this limiting belief has on so many people and no shame, no shame in that because, you know, before social media, before everything, it was all about word of mouth. It was all about, you know, having to just basically pay your dues and, you know, do as many tattoos as possible, get your name known in the area that you're living in, and then having more people come into that space. Um, you know, over time. And so growing a clientele was a bit difficult, you know, especially again, like if you're in a small town, but just in general, because of the fact that it was all word of mouth. And, and I'm not saying that it's not now. However, we have this whole world, we have this whole online space that introduces us to so many like-minded souls like how are we how are we connecting right now through the internet through social media how did you find me through social media you know i i i hold this very big 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 like opening mindset, like this very opportunistic mindset that this, you know, online space brings us. And, you know, when it comes to, let's first talk about like where, you know, the first, let me just say that like, there's no shame in whatever you have believed, whatever society has made you believe, whatever the people around you are even telling you, they're like, well, you're living in a small town. Like you got to do all the tattoos, you know, that is definitely It could be a conditioned response from someone else, another person's belief within the shop. And that's, that's something that we'll get into right now. And because this also kind of goes into, you know, finding community and finding like-minded artists in, in your, that's, that you surround yourself with that, you know, could potentially be kind of like holding you back and they don't mean to, it's just their own their own beliefs, their own beliefs of what is possible for them. And then they project that out into the world. They project that out into, onto the people that are surrounding them. And that's sometimes all we know because we don't know what we don't know until we do. And then when we get aware of the, the, the opportunities, the, we get aware of our own beliefs, the narratives we tell ourselves, the stories we tell ourselves, you know, the, uh, whatever is going on in our thoughts that are holding us back from our greatness, from our desires, from reaching for our dreams. You know, when we become aware of that, that's the most beautiful part. So this is, this podcast episode is not about shame. I'm never, I never want to shame anybody for the way that they feel or whatever they believe. That is what got you here. But the new, but that new awareness will get you where you want to go. And that's all this is for. I just want to bring awareness that there is another way of doing life and business. Totally another way. Totally another way. A way with ease and, 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 you know, just relaxation around doing the things you need to do. Coming from instead of anxiety and stress and fear, we're coming from a love and devotion to the thing that we do, to our passions, to the tattooing, to the showing up online. Like this is devotional work. If you are in this, if you are a spiritual tattoo artist, if you're an intentional tattoo artist, it is about devotion and passion and pleasure. It's not about, oh my God, I have to do all the things. Let me fear and and have anxiety and stress. Yeah, that's unfortunately we've been taught that our whole lives from society, from the online space, from our parents, from ancestral, you know, um, you know, ancestral like beliefs and things like that on like how work needed to get done 
through stress, anxiety, and overwhelm, how to make us move. You know, it's like a lot of us have a hard time moving. We have a hard time being motivated without a negative connotated feeling like stress, overwhelm, things like that. We have a hard time moving. And it's like, oh my gosh, am I lazy because I'm relaxed in the things that I'm doing? Am I lazy because I'm, you know, moving with intention and moving a little bit slower in the things that I'm doing? And, you know, it's like there, if, when there's no anxiety in your body, you're almost like I'm stressed out by not being stressed out. Like <laughs> if you've ever felt that, I totally get it. I actually was having a conversation with my mentor about this. I was like, my business is great. My life is great. My my romance in my life, my budding romance that's like very new is really wonderful. And I'm just like, why am I not stressed out? I'm stressed out because I'm not stressed out. And it's just like there is a new way of doing business and to lean into that new belief. And when we're changing, when we're, you know, shifting beliefs within us, it's scary because we're we're afraid that we're losing something. And and in actuality, we kind of are like our our bodies, like, I don't want to lose this belief because this is what's been holding me up. And, but when that happens, it's almost like that, why, why not instead of being afraid and allowing and, and saying the, the, around the story, around the feeling, because the feeling is perfectly fine. It's the story we tell ourselves of what the feeling means. It's like, I'm having this nervous feeling in my body, but what else does nervousness, like what is that feeling in your body? Like when you feel into your body and you feel nervousness, it's like going on a roller coaster that you like really like going on roller coasters. It's like, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. So the nervous, excited feeling, the feeling within your body actually are very similar. So when we can just change the narrative, change the story being like, oh, maybe I'm just a little excited that there's change coming and that with that change comes so many quantum leaps and quantum expansions and um, quantum successes, you know, abundance, attraction, relaxation, everything that feels like balance within our bodies as we move through this life and still continue to attract the wealth, the community, the freedom that we want in our businesses and our lives. Like, Let's change the narrative of the feeling that we have, the stories that we're telling ourselves. And if we can't change the story, then then just allow yourself to feel the feeling without any story. No thoughts. You know, because then that's how we get to the next level. That's how we really get to that next point in in our lives where we're like, I can do something different. I can live and do business in a different way. And so... With that being said, when we have this belief that, you know, limits us, limits our opportunities by saying, I live in a small town, I can't do the styles, the style of tattoo I love doing because I live in a small town and I have to make money. I can't do the style style I want to do because I live in a small town because I have to make money. So I do all the styles. Like when you break that narrative down, there's a lot of scarcity and chasing and really just stickiness. It's like crunchy. It doesn't feel like expansive to me. It feels very limiting. It feels like, man, This is the only way I can do life. But yet, when we look outside of us, we see everybody else doing so many other things. And so what do we do? Because they're doing so many things, we create a story for them as well. We're saying, oh, but they live in a bigger town. That's why. Or someone else may be telling you this. Like, oh, you know what? (laughs) You know, Joe Schmo, they live in a bigger town than you. We live in a small podunk town in the middle of nowhere. You know, where our biggest cool thing is, I don't know, flower day. I don't know. You know, like that actually sounds like a really fun day though. But, you know, it's like when we tell ourselves these narratives, we literally believe them. And then, of course, we have no opportunity to open up the blinders. So I 
want to open up your horse blinders, remove them, and, and, and allow you to understand that that narrative, if that narrative doesn't serve you, if it serves you, if it keeps you comfortable, that is, you know, that, that is something that you get to choose. That's the, that's the choice you get to make. You get to run your own life. You are the creator of your reality. Whatever that reality might be, you get to create it. You get to believe the things that you want to believe. You get to create the life you want to have. When you can take radical responsibility for your own life, become aware of the limiting beliefs that you hold on to, be okay with them. No shame. We are not here for shame, baby. We are only here for growth, abundance, awareness, you know, transformation, quantum leap, success, all the good stuff. We don't shame ourselves. We just notice it. Hey, oh, that's, a, that's a belief that, you know what, no longer fucking serves me. How can I change the belief? That's the question we want to ask. That's the way we want to relax into all this shit because there's going to be a lot of triggers that come up, a lot of, a lot of limiting beliefs that you're going to find within yourself and to shame yourself, that's low vibe. We don't want to low vibe ourselves. We want to, we want to love ourselves. We want to have a lot of compassion for the things that we believed because it wasn't our fault to believe the thing. Like, come on. So if the narrative is this narrative that like, I live in a small town. I can't do the styles I want to do because I live in a small town and I have to do all the styles because I have to make money in order to pay my bills. Yeah. What's a new belief we can have? Well, there's social media. That's what I love about social media so much. It's, it's, social media is so amazing. It's like the, the most, be, it's, it's so beyond what people think it is. Like it's not just for entertainment. Yeah, sure. It's for a lot of things. And whatever you want to believe it's for, it's for that way. Like I, like I said, you get to believe whatever you want to believe. You get to create the reality you want to create. But for me, what social media is, social media, <laughs> social media is the pathway to inner healing and inner growth fast because we get triggered on social media a lot. Everything from likes to follows to comments to, you know, whether or not we want to show up because it, it, it scares us to do so or, you know, whether we should post this or that, you know, it's like there's so many things about social media that is the perfect opportunity for healing, for inner growth, for self-love. That that is the journey that I am on when I look at social media. I look at social media in a way where I'm like, ooh, what can I heal today, daddy? <laughs> you know, like, what is it that's going to happen? You know, like a mean comment all of a sudden. How, you know, it's like, well, how do I want to respond? How do I want to react? Am I going to be reactional in this? Or or showing up as my authentic self and really just being open with my spirituality and being open with the fact that I am fucking stoked on life and open with the fact that sometimes life isn't so great, but I'm going to still vibe high because I know at the end of the day that this, this, whatever's happening is happening for my highest good and it's an initiation and for me to move from one place to another in order to grow, to become the leader that I want to be. Social media is so much more than just entertainment and a marketing scheme and all this stuff. It's really a, a beautiful place to grow and shift and morph in a really rapid rate because there's so many things that trigger you on social media. And then there's also things that make you want to numb out on social media and you could catch yourself doing those kinds of things. So Social media to me, there it, it it has so many beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's such a beautiful tool to utilize for so many things. But for my own inner growth and inner healing, it's definitely one big one. Another one is there are one point with two point two billion people on the platform. One million or a billion people on TikTok, billions of people on YouTube. Social media is just like a place to share in your authenticity, to share your artwork so that you can attract more people to you. So the small town mindset, 
no longer has to apply to you. Social media has the fucking power. (laughs) It's not even social media. It's you. You have the power to utilize the tool that is social media that will get you where you want to go out of the narrative of I can't do my style because I live in a small town and into the narrative of holy shit, there are 2.2 billion people I can impact. And those, some of those people are for me for sure. You wouldn't have the desire to be a tattoo artist if you weren't meant to have those desires come to fruition, to come into reality, to come into this three-dimensional world. You have passions. You have a soul purpose on this planet. If that is in this industry, now you found out that it is in this industry, that it is being a tattoo artist. Now you have to niche it down. You got to find out what the purpose within the purpose is. So it's like, yeah, my purpose is to be in the tattoo industry. What next? What's the next? What is it exactly I'm meant to do here? And that's where you find so much growth is through, it's to the, toward the path, on the journey, toward that purpose. And then when you find it, oh fuck, it is so juicy, tasty. And the only way you get there is through growth. You need to grow in like, it's like limiting beliefs. Okay, no longer having this limiting belief. Let me surpass that because being comfortable in our narratives is, is, you know, it's being comfortable. But there are no quantum leaps and six and like massive success, rapid success in the comfortable. We all know this. You wouldn't be listening to this if you weren't a spiritual being. If you weren't a very, very, very much, you know, into your spirituality. So we know that the uncomfortable, that the unknown is where all the growth is. So how do we step into from the uh, from the comfortable to the uncomfortable with ease with a relaxed nervous system you know with regulated nervous system rather no anxiety no stress or anything sometimes these things will get get push us to that edge and then we move on to the next thing we grow from and the next thing and then the next thing and the next thing and when you're on this path of growth you're always just so used to being you almost like thrive in the uncomfortable you thrive you flirt with the uncomfortable. You're like, well, fuck. I literally have zero control. Why fucking not? Like I have no control. Like with the mindset of like small town, I can only do, I can't do my style because I live in a small town. Nobody wants my style. So I do all the styles in order to make money. How can like, from that narrative, how can it be like a really high vibe narrative? How can it be like, oh, fuck, like, Because I live in a small town, (laughs) this just makes me want to share myself as authentically as possible in the online space, devote myself to my craft, devote my time to this particular focus right now so that I can expand, so that I can impact more people because people will travel. That is a new narrative you can live by. And believe it and hold tight to that vision. And when you hold tight to the vision and be okay without without the control factor of like knowing what the outcome is going to be, surrendering the outcome, surrendering that how, just fall, have holding tight to the vision, being so devoted to your to what you're doing, to your mission, your message, your movement, to your artwork, to your craft. That will get you there. And you got to think about it too. It's like quantum leaps happen when we're not paying attention to. It's not like I'm going to check back every day and see how many people liked my post. I'm going to check back every day and see how many people, you know, got onto my wait list. Like check back energy is still lack mindset energy. It's still like low vibrational energy because you're constantly worried. You're in worry mode. You're stressed out still. When we can just do the things because we love doing it. Remember the time when we did tattoos for free? When we were stoked, we were like, fuck, I could do this for free. That energy is what's going to attract the people that want to be in your space. The people that will travel to you. I get people traveling to me all over the world. And it's crazy pants. I'm so fucking grateful. I can't even tell you. I'm just like, holy shit. It's crazy. 
And this, you know, I don't believe that it only has anything to do with the level of artist artistry that I do. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that because when, even when I was a beginner tattooer, I was still f- flowing with so much gratitude and abundance in my body. I vibrate high because I've always been so like grateful for everything I've had because I've, I've had to go through so much in order to get here. Like, you know, I didn't start off rich. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I lived in my car for a little while. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Just to make this shit work. Like, I put full send mode. I put, I invested so much time, money, and energy into this business that I've, I've created for myself that it's like, I knew that I was in the game of patience. I was in the game of a lifetime. I was in the game of longevity, of legacy. I'm not coming here for a season. If you are here for some hacks, tips, and tricks, and shit like that, you'll get them. But at the end of the day, if that is all you're searching for, it is going to be so unfulfilling and it ain't going to go fast enough. I'll tell you that right now. If you are in this for legacy, if you understand the sacredness that comes with tattooing, that comes with the, you know, like the sacred adornment that we get to do on people's bodies, when that devotion is there, that could be felt through a screen from a m- fucking hundreds of miles away. Hundreds and thousands of miles away. It's felt on when you're on and off a screen. Full, full belief. Energy, energetics. It's like huge thing for me. It's probably the most important thing. Because to have success in my, in the way that I want to do success, the way that I want to be, I want to be easeful in this shit. I want to, I want to have peace of mind when I'm doing this shit. Like, you know, I want, I want this to be a fun, playful, curious, you know, flirty, pleasurable, passionate experience that I have with my business. And when limiting beliefs come up for me, I want to face that shit full of, full, full force so that I know that like, because I know on the other side is so much fucking growth and greatness. Things beyond the, the, the dreams in my mind, you could not have told me I would be in this piece 10 years later when I created my business. You could not have told me that. I always knew I was meant for greatness. I always knew I was going to do something really, really great. And I held tight to that belief my whole life. And I feel like I've, I'm doing it. And it's, I'm only 34. Like, what the fuck else? Like, it's, it's just like, I'm just going to be so grateful for everything now, but continue to hold tight to the, to the vision of the, that, the fact that, like, there is so much more beyond what I even know is ca- what I'm capable of. That's that high vibrational v- belief. How we get there, it's, it's literally consistency. When you have consistency... When you co- you compound consistency that it always continues to confidence, you know, how we gain confidence is by continuously stepping into the unknown, is by continuously, you know, having like follow through, just following through, follow through energy, follow through. Yeah, I failed. Yeah, this post didn't work. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I followed through. I didn't give up. I kept going. That will create confidence. And that that because it cre- confidence is created through trusting yourself. And through trusting you always got your goddamn back. Like this is your life, babe. Nobody else is living it. You are the only one that can create your success. Everybody else can chitter chatter, give you the advice. But it's you who gets to choose what you believe. So... This is your permission to believe something different. It's not about a small town. It's not about, that's just holding you down. It's just holding you back from what you are meant to be, from all the greatness you are meant to fucking have for for the people you are meant to impact. Like, this is no small thing. I don't, I I get the chills just saying it out loud. (laughs) It's just like, it's like, fuck holy shit, we're doing something so crazy. 
something for life on people's bodies and they come and they trust us. Like, why don't we trust ourselves? You know, we have to build that trust. And how we do that is follow through energy. And when we follow through in everything that we do, we consistently follow through every time. We believe it. that's how we gain that trust and that confidence within ourselves to continue on, to hold the vision that we know what we are meant for. What is the dream tattoo career? What is the dream tattoo career? Ask yourself this question. What is your dream tattoo career? What does that look like? Will this belief, I can't do the style I want because I live in a small town, so I have to do all the styles in order to make money to pay my bills. Does that belief, do you think that belief is going to help you get to the dream tattoo career? If not, let's change the beliefs, babe, because you fucking got this. Because I'm here for you and I know you've got this. Like, it hurts me. Like, I just want to, I just want to shake all of you with kindness and love. (laughs) Because I know that every single person out there is meant for so much, is meant for so much greatness. Everybody out there, there's so much abundance in this world. There's enough room for everybody. There's enough people out there to fill your books for years. There's enough. There's no competition. It's all community, baby. When you thrive, we thrive. So show up. Change the belief. You've got this. It's a perfect tool. Social media is a perfect tool to even just help you get there too. We no longer have to have these narratives in our minds that hold us back from the desires that we want in our life. I love you guys so much. (laughs) Thank you guys for hearing me rant. If you feel in the vibe, just, you know, share this, share, share the goodies, share the goodness, you know, share it with the world. If someone needs to hear this, if there's someone in your shop that needs to hear this, if there's someone, you know, a creative, whatever it might be that needs to hear this, please share, 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 share. The more that this message of healing goes out there, the more people can thrive. And that's all that I fucking care about. (laughs) I love you. I love you. I love you. I hope you have a most wonderful day and I'll see you in the next episode.